Our summer 2018 New York trip with Nancy started out of Washington, D.C.'s Union Station via Amtrak. Both of us have such a strong relationship with Manhattan. From our previous history, we enjoy the skyline and the vibrance of the city. This time, we uh, chose to stay a couple of days at Hotel Pennsylvania, right across from Penn Station because of its location. While it is an old hotel built in 1919, a little shabby, but the rooms were large and clean. Uh, the street life is always invigorating in doing things, and we always enjoy that. Uh, this time, we did not involve the Fire Department of New York or the Police Department, which we've had done in the past. Uh, we got to see a Broadway show, Boys in the Band, which is a um, fun experience. Harry Potter is on our uh, list of things that we want to see the next time we go up. Uh, David worked in New York City. He would go to St. Francis, which was near Penn Station, a wonderful little church. Um, and we went there for Mass one day. Uh, we went and spent some time at Macy's, getting to see the old wooden escalator, which was kind of fun to watch. And then we had um, sort of a late lunch, early dinner there, and enjoyed just seeing that. And it's always good to be together and spend some time in the city and Enjoy all that goes on. And with the World Cup for 2018, we got to have a drink and celebrate that with some uh, nice Italian uh, food. And life is always interesting. Um, Times Square. How can you go wrong seeing Times Square? So nothing is more vibrant than um, Manhattan at night with the lights going on everywhere. On day two, we went to the Metropolitan Museum to just to wander around and spend some time together. Um, we, they had a couple of really great exhibits. One was on costuming. Uh, we got to see some jewelry as well as some other things that they had um, on display. Uh, the Met Metropolitan is just a very relaxing space. We were amazed to see how many people were there and how busy it was, especially young people, which was great to see. Um, that afternoon, after we toured the museum, we went upstairs to the top uh, to look across Central Park and really get a view of the city, a lot of, of going on. In the 1970s, David lived on the west side of the park, so this gave him an opportunity to sort of remember um, living over there on Central Park West. We got a chance to um, go to Mass on the second day at Holy Cross, a church right around the corner from the Port Authority on 42nd Street. If we lived in Manhattan, it would be definitely a church that we would attend. We moved over to the Knickerbocker Hotel on the that day, and it's filled with flowers. It's a wonderful, wonderful hotel, uh, the south side of Times Square. Uh, very modern rooms, very elegant, um, with lots of techno technology. Our viewers right out on Times Square, um, just a great space. Uh, the mini bar was kind of cute. Uh, it had a very large bathroom, and especially a big walk-in shower. Uh, quite different than what our other accommodations had been, and we really enjoyed spending some time there. Um, again, flowers everywhere, and then we got to get to visit with Nancy. To Eric, thank you so much for uh, starting our trip so well and to getting us on Cunard. Nancy, David, and Bill, all cheers to you. Cheers. With Nancy's arrival, we went to the uh, Algonquin Hotel, uh, where Hamlet the Cat is, and then we went on to the Lamb's Club for uh, a wonderful seafood dinner. We enjoyed celebrating uh, with each other, and we got to um, raise a toast to Eric from Gold Key Travel in Longmont, Colorado, who really pulled a rabbit out of his hat to get us all together on the Cunard. Back at the Knickerbocker with more floral displays, we went up to the roof, uh, to the St. Cloud, which was a beautiful view of uh, Times Square. Then in the morning, we woke up and had a wonderful breakfast and um, got into limousines um, and headed on over to the ship. It was quite enjoyable to see that. The magnificence of the Cunard Queen Mary II really couldn't be experienced until you got up close to it. There we were in Red Hook in Brooklyn outside of the Manhattan. Um, and here's a view of the ship uh, later on in our trip from St. John's, New Brunswick in Canada. It was really great to um, be able to um, board the ship together and 
walk up the gangplank and, uh, and, and experience um, a ship that Nancy had never been on and certainly we had not been on. Um, we moved right on into the Great Hall, um, which was a great way to be welcomed into the Queen Mary too. And what a wonderful experience it was for arrival. Due to our VIP status that Eric from Gold Key Travel had arranged for us at the Princess level, um, we were able to get on the ship early and get settled in. Nancy Stateroom had a beautiful view of the New York Harbor and um, boats going by, as well as the Statue of Liberty. The captain sent both of our staterooms complimentary champagne, and Eric had provided some hors d'oeuvres, which was a delight. Our uh, staterooms were large with um, balconies, uh, plenty of space for us to uh, spread that out and enjoy ourselves. Large bathroom and a very, very um, large space is uh, storage space in the closet, which of course I quickly made a mess of. Arrangements are being made to transfer her to uh, medical attention for sure. And the United States Coast Guard are sending a helicopter to conduct a medical evacuation. This means the ship will be maneuvered and uh, the helicopter brought in over our helicopter deck, which is on deck 13. On our first day at sea, a fellow passenger had to be airlifted off by the U.S. Coast Guard due to a medical emergency. We thought, how sad that must have been. Um, we continued to experience the ship and explore, and we got to go into the Britannia restaurant, which is the large restaurant for the passengers. While we did not eat here, we did enjoy uh, tea one afternoon here, and this is where a majority of the passengers would have their meals. We ate in the Princess Grill. We could have uh, been in the Queen's Grill as well, but we chose the Princess Grill, uh, which was a smaller restaurant elsewhere on the ship. Uh, we had uh, table mates, two table mates, Nancy and Julie uh, from Southern California, and they fell madly in love with David, as you can well imagine. After dinner, we would take a stroll uh, on the decks and uh, get an enjoyable uh, view of the city when we were in city in town. This is Boston when we stopped by into Boston for the 4th of July. People were always using the decks, whether it be to run or to be relaxing a little bit. If you didn't want to be outside, there was plenty of space inside to uh, stroll around large central hallways, plenty of elevator space and all. Two large theaters, the Illuminations, which is the only at-sea planetarium. We got to go in there several times and enjoy it. And then there was another theater as well. The ship had lots of interesting displays and exhibits um, all around and talked about the history of the Cunard line and of the Queen Mary, and we always enjoyed getting to, to see that and to learning a little bit more about the ship and its history. What's up on 7? Oh, our dining room. We could go have a glass of wine. The Queen Mary II has a number of spaces throughout the ship for shops, restaurants, a very small casino, and bars, like the Champagne Bar. While we did not indulge in a glass of the bubbly, we did step in and in indulge in the elegance of the space. What we were on board for was to enjoy being on the water and looking at the other ships as we cruised by. We would brought uh, pets with us. There are kennels on the top deck. Um, they have their own space there and an area to be walked, a private area, which is very, very nice for uh, animal lovers. It's at my end of the ship, isn't it? Our time on the ship was mostly spent exploring it and getting to see the different aspects of it and the different um, uh, decks. Uh, our first point, uh, port of call uh, was St. John's, New Brunswick, Canada. While it wasn't a very exciting spot, we did step off for a little bit, but we did get to see them um, 
move this large ship around and reposition it uh, while we were in port, which was kind of fun to see. Um, we got to um, spend some time looking at the pool, though we never went in. And there's David there uh, watching the fog and the ships as they move through, and just a beautiful, beautiful experience. Um, the Adventure of the Sea was being repositioned so it could go back out to sea. Uh, we spent a lot of time uh, looking at other ships while we were either on the water or um, in port. There's the hot tub and some of the private area for the Queen's Grill and the Princess Grill uh, guests. So the swimming pools were very elegant. And of course, there was uh, onboard um, golf uh, putting cages and shuffleboard, which was uh, kind of fun to watch, though we did not participate in that. Traveling, um, our next port of call was Boston, and we got to go into the Falcon Terminal, which we had uh, taken a trip out of last year when we went to uh, Bermuda on Holland America. See them uh, moving the ships around like toys in a bathtub is always interesting. And our uh, port of call there in Boston, we got to go and l uh, enjoy Boston for the 4th of July where we had lunch with some uh, dear friends and got to enjoy the waterfront and see all that's going on. <laughs> Leaving port, um, connecting and watching the pilot ship was always one of our most enjoyable experiences. While we were in port on the 4th of July, we went to the Canyon Ranch Spa on board and had pedicures. Very enjoyable experience. And Canyon Ranch is the spa to go to on the ship. <laughs> One of the hidden gems on the Queen Mary II is the library and adjoining bookstore. We found the bookstore to be filled with a lot of interesting merchandise, much more so than the shops. And like any library, there are computer terminals, and on the sh board ship for a small fee, you can connect to the internet. The books are behind glass doors, which protect them from rough seas from falling out of the shelves. And while you're on board ship, you want to know what deck you're on. We were on deck 10. Um, and each afternoon, we'd get on the elevator and go down to the Commodore Club for cocktails. Deck 9. The elevator is another one of the hidden gems on the Queen Mary 2. Per advice from our friend Shane, we took cocktails nightly at the Commodore's Club at 5 p.m. The waterways off the coast of North America are busy with a number of freight and passenger ships. At the crack of dawn on Friday, we traveled under the Verrazano Narrows Bridge signaling that the end of our five-day journey uh, on the Queen Mary had come to an end. We had started in Manhattan, gone up to St. John's, New Brunswick, and Canada, spent Fourth of July in Boston, Massachusetts, and then back um, to Manhattan again to um, the site of Lady Liberty there. What a wonderful welcoming that was.
And what a great trip that we had um, from our time in the city to our time on the ship. And it was an um, experience that David and I will always remember. Uh, what a wonderful uh, experience the Queen Mary had been. Uh, it was an elegant ship and a very comfortable ship to uh, travel on. And David and I are uh, very happy to be able to uh, have that memory to do that, and especially to be able to do it with our good friend Nancy, uh, who is a delight to travel with, and we've enjoyed uh, spending time with her on these little sojourns during the summer. So with that, uh, we picked up our Amtrak uh, tickets and got on the Excella and headed back to Washington, D.C., uh, going through Philadelphia, where a number uh, of memories have been made for Nancy and myself and for David. 